Okay, I show you how to solve a system equation today. We given two equation x plus two y equal to two, three x plus four y equal to two. When we solve an equation, it means that we look for x and y, which is same thing that we have one straight line x plus y equal to 2, which is this straight line here. And other straight line, 3x plus 4y equal to 2, which is this one. So we're looking for x and y, which is intersection of two straight line, which is point A here. OK, um, let's uh, use uh, algebra to solve the equation. We copy the first equation, x plus 2y equal to 2. And then we move 2y to the right hand side, which is minus 2y. So we have x equal to 2 minus 2y. So this is the first equation. We derive them became x equal to 2 minus 2y. So how can we use a second equation? We have second equation here. So we can use x equal to 2 minus 2y substitute into the second equation, which is become 3 multiplied 2 minus 2y plus 4y equal to 2. So x minus 2y is equal to x. So we have this one, and we simplify left hand side. We have 6 minus 6y plus 4y equal to 2. So we move in the term around and simplify a little bit. We have 6 minus 2y equal to 2. So we have y equal to 2. When we have y equal to 2, then we looking for all we need is use y equal to 2 to 5x, right? So we we can use y equal to 2, substitute y equal to 2 to this equation, x equal to 2 minus y, because all we need just the y here, and then we can have we we can get answer for x. So we substitute y equal to 2 into x equal to 2 minus 2y, which is this equation. So we have x equal to 2 minus 2 multiplied 2. So we have x equal to minus 2. OK. So we have x equal minus 2 and y equal to 2. It means that we already have the solution. So the solution would be x equal to minus 2 and y equal to 2. How do we know that the solution is valid solution? We can substitute the solution into the original equation here. So because x equal to minus 2, y equal to 2, so we just substitute them into original equation, we have this. And then we can check that whether both sides are equal. From our solution, we know that both sides are equal for both equations. Thank you for watching.